$15 thrift challenge. 12 resellers who are also YouTubers will go into a thrift store of their choice with only $15 to spend. So you guys are going to be in charge of voting for who the winner will be. Who had the best $15 thrift haul? So after you watch this video, go down to the description and you will find the links to the other YouTubers that are participating. There will also be a link to my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, the community page. That is where you will go to vote. So once you go to the community page, there will be a post. And in the post comments, you are going to vote for who had the best thrift haul. Just put the YouTube channel's name. Now, what does the YouTuber win? The YouTuber will win a thrifted prize from all of the losers. And this needs to be completed by March 7th at midnight. So you're probably wondering who's participating. In alphabetical order, we have Amber Resells, Auctions for You, Becky Park on Poshmark, Bolo Buddies, that's me, Dad Planet, Donatella Bottolino, Joey Bada Bing 22, Moonstone Mamas, Mountain Man Treasure, Profit Monsters, The Homeschooling Picker, and West Side Gary. All right, you guys, get watching and get voting. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I am at the Goodwill, and this Goodwill is about 45 minutes from me, and maybe it's only 40, but um, I head straight for the plush, and look at this huge Disney store plush. He had a little stain on the bottom of him, but I got that out with no problem. So what I found out when I was getting ready to list him is that he actually has a sound box in him that goes tick tock. It makes the tick tock sound. So super cool. Comps are great on him. I'm going to show you at the end of this video what I listed all seven items for that I purchased. So at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the items. I'm going to show you what I listed them for. And that's going to give you guys an idea of how well I did in the $15 thrift challenge. All right, so I'm digging through the plush and I'm going to be digging for a few minutes. So I'm just going to kind of talk to you guys as I do that. Um, before I came into the Goodwill, I met up with Mary and Mary is a subscriber of my channel and last year before COVID hit we had planned on going to the Goodwill bins and doing a Goodwill bins challenge her and I and it has been postponed for over a year so we actually got to do that today we did that before we came over to this Goodwill so super super exciting and that video will be coming soon so you guys can uh check that out and let us know in the comments who you think won the Goodwill Bins Challenge. But uh, Mary and I actually met through her watching my YouTube channel and we put it together that we live um, within 45 minutes of each other and decided to meet at the Goodwill Bins. And that was Mary's first time at the Bins and I've only been there two or three times. So it was really fun. Okay, so this is a little armadillo. I think that's, is it armadillo or armadillo? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> but he had a big red stain on his belly. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, I was able to get that out also. This is a uh, Build-A-Bear, but you can see the tush tag had been cut off. But the plush was so stuffed full. It was amazing. I could have bought so much plush at this store. So if it is not marked, they charge 99 cents for their plush. If it is marked, it will say the price. That little owl was even kind of cute. I probably could have sold it. But I was focusing on spending 
$15 or less because that is the challenge. $15 before tax is what we are allowed to spend in one thrift store. And again, there's 12 of us doing this challenge, so please be sure to go down to the description of the video and check out the other people that are participating. There's some really great channels. All right, we're gonna look at some of the glassware. Um, I was trying not to get all plush. Um, I did get a couple other things besides plush, so that is good, but um, I am very drawn to toys. I love listing toys. Um, I'm learning and I just like toys. Toys are fun. They're easy to list. They're usually easy to ship and I just like them. But I'm looking for the things that are going to have the biggest margins but are priced at the lowest price point because I only have $15 to spend. So there were some decent things here that I could have picked up, but I decided that I would rather spend my money in other areas. So this right here is a Calico Critters house, which I will pick these up if they have some furniture or if they have the characters. I probably should have bought that in case I find some of those things and then I can create like a lot, but I passed because I am on a $15 budget and I found some really great plush, but I also found a couple other things. So stay tuned. All right, let's see. What else do we see? Um, I actually got something similar to this in a mystery box. It was not something I would have picked up and I just decided to list it kind of like, eh, I'll just see if it'll sell. And it sold super fast. It was a bread and butter item, but it sold really fast. I was actually surprised. That's one thing great about um, the mystery boxes is they kind of get me out of my comfort zone. And I list things that I'm not always familiar with. And it really helps me to learn. Because when we're outsourcing, we're drawn to certain things with the mystery boxes you know, it forces me to list things that I may not have otherwise picked up. Same with um, when I source at YouTube auctions, I buy uh, Dibble Boxes, which is a Dibble Box is a reseller mystery box. Um, I buy those from Donatella Bottolino, and she's actually a part of this challenge. And then I also just recently bought a vintage toy box, mystery toy box from T auctions for you who is also participating in this channel and they do um, YouTube auctions and I like getting stuff from them because again I list the items and it helps me learn so um, I did check out this here I think they're like nursing pads or something like that I just was drawn to the box probably because of the color but I did look up comps and I decided not to get that all right, so we're over here at the glass. And I really need a day between Saturday and Sunday, which was really cute. I thought, and it says hashtag truth, I thought that would be like a great Poshmark item. But um, I found other items that I thought were better for this challenge. So I left that behind, but it was super cute. You guys let me know if you see anything that I missed because I am sure there were things that I missed. That was a little piggy bank. I thought it was kind of cute, but I think it had money in it, if I remember, like a coin. I could hear something rattling. Lots and lots of uh, glassware, which is not my specialty at all. Um, again, so it's an area that I try to look things up from time to time, but I'm not big on shipping breakables, so I will typically uh, pass on most of these items. I do find a cool item, and um, I do end up picking it up, and I'll, I don't think I passed it yet. I will show you guys here shortly. I was checking that out because it was sealed. Anything that's sealed, um, I typically will do a double take. Do you guys like 
sourcing for items that are breakable or do you kind of shy away from them? Let me know in the comments. There were some cute things. I did look some stuff up, but um, I think we're coming up on the next item that I purchase, if I remember correctly. That little mug was cute with the dog. It wasn't vintage or anything like that, but you know, people have pets and they like to get things that look like their pets. So maybe I should have taken a better look at that little mug. I think that said made in China or um, something like that. So a newer item, not vintage. But it was super cute. And there were like two or three of them. So, but that would have really cut into my budget of $15. Okay, so this is Mary. And again, I met Mary from, she's a subscriber of my channel and we've become friends. And I snuck up on her, but I was checking out what was in her cart. So we just left the Goodwill bins and came over here and I was like, Mary, I've got to go over to the, the Goodwill and I have to do my thrift challenge. So she just sourced and did her thing and then I did my thing. Okay, this is another thing that I picked up. It was $2.99. Um, not crazy good comps, but decent enough that it wasn't plush and it was an okay price and I could make money and the crocodile, no, I'm kidding. So um, I decided to pick that one up. These were interesting. Um, I just wasn't sure about them though, you know? Okay, so these are the carts that they pull out and they sit at the front and some of the stuff is not priced. So you kind of have to ask the person that's up at the register what the prices are if they are not marked. And I usually find some goodies on these carts. And there's one item that I thought about getting. This little owl is super cute. I probably should have got it, but um, I think it was $1.99 but I decided that the other stuff was more important. Now, this is a Pottery Barn Kids, and it is a um, like a rocking horse. And I would say I could, could have probably gotten $50 to $100 for that, depending on if I was able to get it cleaned up and, you know, how patient I was. But uh, I didn't want to clean it. I can't remember how much it was. It, it wasn't very much. It definitely uh, would have been something that I could have purchased and then still bought some other stuff, but I can't remember if it was like 7 or $8. It may have been 5 I just don't remember. I'm sorry. Um, checking out the toys. Again, I'm very, very drawn to toys. They're just easy to list and fun. <laughs> All right, let's see. I know I'm coming up on another item that I bought. Yeah, just stuff all over the floor. All right. Well, maybe I come back to it because they did pull another cart out. I always watch for the carts at this store. This is a really nice store. It is newer. And I think Mary is going to do some consignment for me also. So I'm super excited about that. And my hopes are in the future to get my husband to go to the Goodwill bins and do a challenge with me also. I think that would be super fun. He's never been there. And he, he likes to source. I'm not sure how much he would like the Goodwill bins, but I think it would make for a great video. Okay, here it is, guys. These are dance goes. And, um... I did buy them. I sat it back down, but I did buy them. Okay, Bolo Buddies, are you ready to see what I got for $15? Um, so the challenge is for $15 before tax. So, are you ready? The first item I got is this unicorn. And, um, it's the sequins that flip and 
the brand, I, I don't see a brand, but it's a unicorn and the sequins flip and any plush that did not have a tag was 99 cents. So this was 99 cents. So I think I can definitely do pretty good with this. I have not looked up comps, but um, it's just so darn cute. All right, the next thing I got Hope I didn't break it. Okay, so um, it's this face and it's like a trinket or like a container that you would sit like on your vanity or dresser. It holds stuff and it says genuine best. Oh man, I don't have my glasses on. Sorry. I think it's B-E-S-M-O product hand carved in Kenya. So I'm going to zoom in and maybe you guys can read it better than me. This was $2.99. So I did pay up a little bit for this. And they wrapped it in wrapping paper to keep it from a... Uh... Okay, so the next item I have is this Carlton Cards birthday bear. And it was also 99 cents. That's all I'm going to play because I don't want to get a copyright infringement. But it plays Happy Birthday. And um, if you go to Donatella Bottolino's auctions, they play this. I think it might be the same bear for people at the auction when it's birthdays. So how cute is that? And it's new with tags. So I'm going to have to look up comps on that one also. But that was 99 cents. Okay, so this guy I picked up, um, it's Tiger Tail Toys, but the reason I grabbed it is because I think this is an armadillo, right? An armadillo. Now, the problem is it has red ink on its belly, so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get that off. Um, I've had some luck with ink some different ways, so I'm going to try those, but if not, I'll just disclose that I think I can get most of it off unless it's permanent marker but I just think anytime there's like a unique different type of animal that's why I picked it up all right this is fantastic and this was also 99 cents which I was shocked um it's Disney based on Winnie the Pooh works um I believe it needs batteries because and again, I'm not going to let it play, but the characters move and um, it's Pooh and Tigger and Eeyore. So I'm thinking this should do pretty well and I only paid 99 cents for it. So it does work. Now, I did pick up these um, Dansko shoes and I want to say these were... 549 or 649 they they put me at my $15 but they are I think brand new I mean they look brand new uh, there's no writing on the bottom you know how thrift stores are famous for that they do have but I looked them up I found them and um, these are a size 39 so I'll have to figure out what that is but yeah and I need to find my receipt and then I can tell you how much they were. I thought I stuck it in the bag. And the last thing I got was, huh, where's my receipt? $2.99. This guy was right here is on the tag, $2.99. And he is authentic Disney store. And look how big he is. Some of them have, oh, does he have? He does, but it's not working. Hmm. Okay, so he's supposed to, I think, talk. But he's, oh, hold on. Oh, I didn't know he was a talker. Hold on. Let me see if he's, uh, he may just need batteries. So this is good. Um, he has a little battery box 
and you can replace the battery. So I'm gonna do that. He's got a little stain right here that I can probably spot clean, no big deal. But I looked these up and the ones that had the highest solds were the ones that talked. And I'm like, man, he doesn't have the push button. But I'm feeling and I'm like, he does have the push button. So he is the one that does something. I don't know what he does yet, but he was $2.99. Score! So I'm gonna get these things listed and then when I come back, I'm gonna show you what I listed everything for. All right, I'll be back. Found my receipt. Okay, so um, $2.99 for this guy, the big alligator. Uh, the shoes were $4.39. I had four stuffed animals at 99 cents each. And I think there was something else for $2.99. Oh, the mask. This mask was $2.99. So my total spent was before tax $14.33. You guys see that? $14.33. All right. Okay, I purchased seven items for this challenge and I have them all on eBay. And I am now going to cross post them all to Mercari and Poshmark. The only item that's not gonna go to Poshmark is the crocodile because he is too big. So he will just be on eBay and Mercari. So I used this perfectly to cross post my items. And these are all the platforms that you can cross post to with Liz perfectly. It's amazing. If you would like to check it out, I do have a demo video. I will link it down in the description and you guys can check that out. And if you're interested in trying List Perfectly, you can use referral coupon code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month. But it is amazing. I've been using it for over a year. It saves me so much time. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.